Hello students. Hope you all are fine at home. Let's start our today's computer session. In last session, we have started our first chapter, Internet, and got information about what is Internet and uses of Internet. Now, in today's session, we are going to learn Internet connection and some basic terms of Internet. So, be ready with your textbook and open page number six in that. Let's start. Basic requirements for an internet connection. Students, you know, to use internet, we have to connect our computer with the internet. So, for internet connection, you need the four hardware and software. There are given on the screen. First is monitor. Second is an internet connection. Third one is telephone line. And fourth one is web browser. In this, modem and telephone line are hardware devices. But an internet connection and a web browser are software applications. Let's understand with the help of diagram. Students, see this diagram given here. Here, three devices are given. Telephone line, modem and computer. And also given the connection between them. Modem is a device that connects your computer with the telephone line. As you see on the screen, in the diagram, modem is connected with telephone line and also with the CPU means computer. Modem is one type of intermediator between computer and telephone line. It changes the computer signals so that they can travel through telephone lines and vice versa. So, let's start our next topic, Internet Terms. These terms are helps us to know more about Internet. These terms are Website, web page, home page, web browser, URL, ISP, and www. Let's get more information about this term one by one. Our first term is website. The information that we can get from internet is in the form of website and web page. As a book contains a number of pages, similarly, a website is a collection of related web pages which are linked to one another. Our second term is web page. Web page is a part of website like a page of a book. It is put on the internet in the form of digital pages. Web page contains text, graphics, video, audio and links to the other pages of website. Web page contains text also, graphics also, video and audio, anything we can put on the web page and it provides us information in any of them form. Our next term is home page. The main page of website is called home page. Whenever we open any website, the first page is called home page. Home page contains link to the other pages of a website. Link means connection with other page of website. When we click on the link, it will open the page related to it. Let's understand these three terms with an example. Here, one picture is given. This picture is of a website of Cartoon Network channel. The name of the website is cartoonnetwork.com. This is the first page of this website and the first page is called home page of the website. And this is called digital page means web page that information put on the internet. 
Fourth term is web browser. Students, if you want to access the internet, you must have a web browser. Web browser is a software application or program. Using web browser, we can open any website. For that, we have to type URL of a website in the address bar of a web browser. Let's see with an example. See here, here the website of Cartoon Network channel is open. Here, this is the address bar of a web browser. If we want to open any website, then we must need URL of that website. So, here cartoonnetwork.com is the URL of Cartoon Network channel website. If we type this URL in the address bar, then click on search button, it will open the website of Cartoon Network channel that we can see on the screen. Some popular web browsers are Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox and Opera browsers. These browsers are very popular but nowadays Google Chrome is the most popular web browser which is developed by Larry Page and Sergey Brin. These two person's pictures is also given in your textbook at the bottom side of page number 7. Our next term is URL. URL stands for Uniform Resource Locator. U for Uniform, R for Resource and L for Locator. To visit or open any website, you need to know its address. As we see earlier, in the website of Cartoon Network channel, we have to type URL means address of any website in the address bar of web browser to open any website. If you want to go your friend's home, you need to know his address. Similarly, each website is identified by its unique address, which is known as URL. The URL should be entered in the address bar of a web browser. For example, www cartoon network channel dot com that we opened earlier. One more example is given here is www dot discovery channel dot com. Here this is the home page of Google Chrome and in this this is address bar. In address bar we have to type URL means address of website. Here, <coughs> typed is www.google.com and we can see that the front page means home page of Google is open here. Our next term is ISP. ISP stands for Internet Service Provider. I for Internet, S for Service and P for provider. It is a company that provides you the access of internet by paying fees. It provides software, username and password to the user in order to get connected to the internet. As its name suggests, it provides us internet access in exchange of fees. Here, some name of ISPs are given. For example, Airtel, Nextra, MTNL, Hathway, etc. Our next term is and last also WWW. WWW stands for World Wide Web. First W for World, second W for Wide and third W for Web. Very easy to learn. Okay. It is a network of website on the internet. 
which contains information in the form of text, pictures, animations and videos that can be accessed by people all over the world. In easy language, we can say that www is a collection of websites on the internet. The, the picture is given here of a person is Tim Berners-Lee who developed the www. We can say that the founder of www web. Now students, rest of terms we will learn in our next section. Till then, learn well, take care, bye-bye, thank you.